Welcome back friends. Getting the boat loaded up here. We're going to run out to Ray Hubbard and see if the crappie have made it up into the creeks yet. And I just realized something. I don't think I've ever done a video on my conversion, my John boat to bass boat conversion of my little tracker topper 15. So I guess we better do that in case I sink it or something today. Hopefully not. But uh, it's a pretty cool project. Enjoyed it a lot. If you saw a previous video, you noticed I had a um, 1970 Monarch 1436. And back then, those boats were made out of much thicker aluminum, bigger rivets, quality control was great, and that boat was solid. It came with a 99 Mercury and a Magic Tilt trailer, some clamp-on seats, uh, some janky wiring in it for some goofy little nav lights, and it had a 50-pound thrust Chinese tiller trolling motor on it. And I got a, a really nice deal on it. So I brought that thing home. It was in the summer, and we're planning on fishing and goofing around with it, and then come winter time, we would do a conversion on it. Well, during the winter, uh, my partner and I decided to sell our business. I was ready to retire, and so instead of getting a chance to do all of that winter project conversion, I spent all that time trying to get the business uh, into a transition stage to our new uh, to our new owner. But as I was doing that, I came across this boat uh, about an hour east of here in Jacksonville. A gentleman had this one. It was a 2019. So what are we talking? 50 year newer boat 2019 tracker topper 15 he bought brand new from bass pro boat motor trailer with a three and a half horse mercury on it and he used it for about two years been sitting up for a year got a kid on the way and he just says i'm, I'm not going to use it you know we need a bigger boat now there's, there's going to be four of us and the price was was crazy he just put it on craigslist 20 minutes before I, I contacted him. I said, I will be there when you get off work. You know, don't worry about it, I'll be there. Didn't argue, didn't haggle on the cash. I just handed him the cash. We cranked the motor, it worked. I hooked it up, brought it home, vacuumed all the little pine needles out of it. So now I got two boats. <laughs> so <laughs> the plan was I really like my galvanized Magic Tilt trailer. They're solid. And um, the 99 Merc, solid runs good so what we did is we just kind of did some swapping i put the three and a half merc on the old monarch i put that package on the much lighter much lighter tracker trailer sold it to a guy and made really good money off of that so it puts me in this boat for next to nothing so i have a 50 year newer boat it's longer it's wider more stable I don't have to do near the labor that I was gonna have to do on that Monarch because it had about three three coats of paint on it we were gonna have to scrape off and uh, got it on a better trailer so everything worked out pretty good so my first day that I was retired didn't have to go to work I started working on this conversion I put in 40 hours on it that week and got it done so let me show you what we got like I said this is a not, uh, 2019 Tracker Topper. You can see I've got my galvanized Magic Tilt trailer. Yeah, it came with that spare. The tires were good on it too, but I, I went ahead and changed those out just a couple weeks ago for some brand new ones because they were getting kind of uh, dry rotted on the side. Let's start at the top here, or the front I should say. We've got a Minn Kota Edge. This is a 45 pound thrust and it will move this boat pretty darn quick I never have it on the high setting which I believe is four four or five never have to put it on that but it works really good I found this in the corner at Academy kind of sitting there by itself it was on marked down on sale and coincidentally Minn Kota was running a rebate at the time and I got another $75 gift card in the mail so that worked out pretty good we used a Panther 
recess box here. Got it at Bass Pro and they're not really expensive. I think it was less than 50 bucks and it comes with a nice template. Comes with stainless fasteners already, but it comes with a nice template so you can make your cuts nice and precise and make it easy on you uh, to, to, to get it into your deck. This is our casting deck here. Some people do all the way from here to here, but my, my theory was I wanted people that were sitting in that seat there to have a place to put their feet. And I thought this would be big enough. We've got a pedestal here with a butt seat, but I can also swap that out for one of my regular seats with the back if I want to. I just cut off a couple inches of this um, a couple weeks ago. I wanna see how it feels today, but I'm, I think I'll be a lot more comfortable. This front compartment here, all of our wood is coated in fiberglass resin, and then I put a coat of paint on this one too. This is just a storage compartment, mina bucket, buoys, miscellaneous stuff up here, fish basket. But as you can see, I got plenty of room up here. Got struts, both sides on this one, it's kind of a big door. I did all the framing in aluminum angle. This is eighth inch aluminum angle. I would not recommend using anything thinner than that. And especially in this place here where we've got a pedestal, we've, we've, got, it, uh, we've got it pretty sturdy. The rivets I used are aluminum and all the fasteners in this boat are either aluminum rivets, stainless steel screws, and stainless steel staples. Trust me, this stuff's gonna get wet somehow and then you start having a rust stain on your carpets and things and it's just gonna make it look pretty trashy. Okay, up front, like I said, this is a place where we wanted to, people to be able to put their feet. This is a little pocket uh, nylon pocket you can get from Yak Gear. They're kind of pricey, but it's nice to have a place to throw, you know, your phone, some snacks or whatever you want up here. Stainless fasteners, like I said. This compartment up here, one thing about the difference between this boat and the Monarch is that the Monarch bench seats were only about this wide. But back in 1970, the regulations weren't near as stringent as they are now as far as flotation goes so this thing has probably i don't know maybe 60 percent more flotation in it than those boats back then but it makes for a much nicer platform and it also gives us much more room here to make a cabinet this is where i have all of my electrical we've got a single duracell battery and that runs nothing but the trolling motor got main shut off here and breaker for the Minn Kota bus box controls our four switches here is from Amazon we're only using two of these that's our bilge that's our running lights let's take a look at those real quick these LED strips port and starboard red on the other side and man they look cool at night out on the water and they're plenty bright also got old school 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and two USBs right there. This plug here, instead of having to open up this cabinet, hook up some battery, charger clamps, and put it on, uh, put it on charge, this is hooked directly to the back battery with an SAE plug. And I just reach underneath here under the, the canvas tarp and I plug in an SAE plug to my battery tender, battery minder, whatever brand you use. And that way it's a real easy peasy way of keeping your your stuff charged one other thing from my kayak i've got this battery box that i built myself see how lightweight it is by me just grabbing it here got an amped outdoors lithium battery in here got the uh, control panel here off of amazon let's take a quick peek at it. it's nothing Okay. But this will run my electronics all day long. Turn it on here, do a battery test. We got 14.2 volts plus two USB ports, old school 12 volt, and it works great. So that's what I use for just my electronics. And it plugs in with this plug here. Our throw cushions, life preservers, things like that. We gotta have everything uh, legal because we are literally two exits down from the game board <laughs> and they do show up at the ramp 
my passenger up here gets his own rod holder for up here talk about this here in a minute but these uh we put these two or mounts that's the only thing you get on a john boat you don't get any cleats you don't get any lights you don't get seats nothing but they put these two mounts in here for oars and I, I made use of them and i'll show you what i used that for our main floor here once again i said it was uh plywood and then we sealed it in fiberglass resin and then we topped it with this is just carpet you can get home depot or lowe's it's not real expensive it's easy to work with but we use stainless staples on all of it Back here around the captain's area here, we got these chairs off of, or seats I should say, off of Amazon. Very, uh, very comfortable. Appear to be well made, been holding up good. Of course, we keep everything under cover. Don't want stuff looking crappy. But I like these a lot. They're just pedestals. I can pull this out. We've got one for up here. I'm not taking it today since I'm going solo, but we got a matching pair. And I really need to get off the black and gray thing. I mean, I'm just, Maybe I'm boring, but I need to add some color to my life. So, of course, everybody gets a cup holder. Now, up here, this is my Lowrance Hook Reveal 5. We used to have it up there. If you'll notice, we got something new up there. But this was, when you're standing up, this is just too small. You just can't see it. And I'm, you know, I don't care if you're young or old. It's just not a big enough screen. Kayak, it works perfect because you're virtually 20 inches away from the screen it's small stays out of your way works great in the kayak so we just move this back here to the captain's area and he can use it back here fishing back here and you know monitoring you know speed and speed over ground and and water temperature and depth and things like that and we use a, a ram mount for it works great back here in this area now these are full of foam I decided to stop here. I was going to deck this, but I was tired for one thing. And number two, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but decking this would really make this look, you know, look real nice, but it's working out pretty good. So we might do that at a later time. I just finished running transducer cables back here. Uh, the hook five transducer was on the, the front on the trolley motor. So we moved everything back here to the back, as you can see. Back here is where I keep my anchor, and this is a, probably won't see this anywhere else but here, this is a livestock feeding bowl. It's rubberized, it's heavy duty rubber, it's, it's pretty thick, and it works great for throwing this anchor in here because a lot of times it has mud and it always has water, and you don't want to throw it on the carpet or anything like that. You put it in here, everything stays in that and that feed bowl and on top of that this rubberized stuff doesn't beat the bottom of your boat to death got our bilge pump gas tank got our 2003 99 merc and she runs this boat at about 21 miles an hour we also had to add some nav lights cleats because john boats come with nothing so i like these i believe these are five inch nylon stainless steel fasteners transom saver of course and like i said we were gonna go do some fishing here so i already had some stuff loaded up let me get this out of the way real quick show you this compartment back here once again we use the same latches throughout these are stainless steel uh, i got these on amazon too from a marine supply uh, but you see these on a lot of boats you can get them with or without locks i didn't see any reason to get the the ones that have locks but they are stainless steel and they're nice easy to install and very well built easy to adjust to back here in this compartment is just spare stuff that's my tool kit extra bilge pump fire extinguisher for the game warden we've got a rain gear first aid kit waterproof box here we got lake maps our registration sunscreen bug spray stuff like that half a kayak paddle in case we get in trouble and here's a little tip for you these pool noodles they work great of course you know they're split on the side just split it on the side here and they work great as bumpers if you're fishing uh, bridge pilings or something like that and you don't want your boat banging into it and you put it wherever you need it you know wherever you've got a problem that's where you stick it works great 
We also have another Yak Gear pocket back here. You can see I'm already stocked up, ready for the lake. I got my snacks ready to go. Net, crappie gauge, extra knife. Here's the the rod holder we were talking about over here. Like I say, I've got one of these on each side. This is a uh, rail blazer starport mount. That's what it is. <sighs> Forgot it for a second. I just took a quarter inch stainless steel bolt and just screwed it right in there. I've got one on each side. I got this old Scotty uh, rod holder. Not even sure where I got it, but they have a different pattern. This is the star mount pattern and uh, or starport pattern. And so I just cut it off with a hacksaw and just screwed on a starport mount. And now I have now I have another rod holder, and today I'm going to just hang an extra line off the, the side of the boat. Maybe we can get something. Pedestal mount. We've got this thing mounted pretty solid. Of course, everybody gets a cup holder. And then onto the front. This is my Lowrance Elite FS7. I just got it wired up. We're going to take it out today, see if we can figure it out. But we needed something a little bigger. And because um, when you're, you're back here on the deck and you're way up here, it's kind of hard to see that stuff. So hopefully I can get it figured out. Might help me catch some fish. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. LED lights, of course, I talked about. And this trailer, this like I said, this trailer is just much heavier duty. It's galvanized square tubing, whereas the, the one from Bass Pro was actually kind of lightweight channel. You couldn't even stand on the fenders on it. But this one is going to be here for the long haul. So there you have it. That's the nickel tour of my little 15-foot tracker topper. Got any comments or questions? Just leave those down below. If you like our videos, don't forget to give us one of these. Hit that subscribe button. So until next time, you guys be safe. Get that life jacket on. We hope to see you out on the water. Adios.